Time to head north. It's starting to get really hot here. We are only 10 degrees from the equator in Grenada. So today's sail will be from Grenada to Beckway through the Tobago Keys. It's only about 40 miles, so even though we left mid-morning, we should be in Beckway before dark. It will be a beautiful sail. These are some of the prettiest waters we have been in. One of the prettiest places, Sandy Island. So we had one last look before we began our journey. Well, I've been chasing the sun since I was 10 years old. Felt the heat rise on my skin. And I've been on the run from the dark and cold since I've been letting people in. Ooh, these limbs are swollen. down on the ground Here, take my lead If you're taking my hand Better watch what you buy and sell We've been jumping the rooftops And the tight ropes and trees Cause we figure that we might as well Got to get underway here, and Dawn's up there right now issuing orders to pull the anchor. She thinks I'm talking to her, but I'm talking to the camera. So, crank them up. We had to clear out of, uh, where are we? Karakou. We had to clear out of Karakou this morning, which is also Grenada. And we're going to head up to the north towards probably Beckway today. Dawn's up there pulling the anchor. My job is to make it easier on her if I possibly can. That's what I'm trying to do. And it's hot today. It's hot and humid. So we definitely want to be underway. It's not far. It's about 35 miles to Beckway. We might make it there today. We may not. It is, um, yes, 10, 15 in the morning. We should be able to make it. It's going to be a slow sail though because it's not much wind. All right, she's pulling the bridle now. Once she gets that off, we'll get the rest of it up. Keep an eye around it. Oh, there's a guy over there naked. Down here. I guess. I don't know. Ready on furling? Is your car where you want it to be? Yep, I got it up forward. We're probably going to end up at about 60 degrees off the wind once we turn the corner, but right now we're downwind, so let's get it out. All right. I got the further line. right there until we get around the corner a little bit while we'll pull it in then we may end up a little I don't know 60 is probably where we're gonna end up 60 yeah that's okay that's good I should put the main up though. 30 I should have put the main up yeah you should have put the main up furl when ready Covered all kinds of treasure 
because we've been hot. We installed a new anchor washdown uh, connection today. Well, we, <laughs> my husband, Captain Steven, and he's going to give me a lesson on how to use it. Okay, because the old one was one of those stupid quick connects, and it quickly connected not, wouldn't fit, wouldn't stay in, so it quickly disconnected when you're trying to pull the anchor and wash down the anchor, keep your chain in good shape. Wasn't, wasn't happening. 
So here's what we uh, did instead. It took a bit because of the part, and uh, Stephen will explain that to you. The old freshwater slash saltwater wash down connection we had, as Dawn said, didn't work. I had a quick connect, had to push it in, never did connect, never did work. And so we bought a new one. The new one is actually a city water valve. So it's really for water coming into the boat, like everybody has. So you hook up the dock water coming into the boat. So that valve I have in here now, number one, it didn't fit in the hole, so you had to either make a much bigger hole in here, or we built these two standoffs here. You can build one standoff. And I was able to fit the new one on here without really any obstruction. It doesn't matter to me that it's like that. So this one, as I said, is made for fresh water to come into the boat. It is not made for water to come out of the boat. So it had a check valve in it, but I took the check valve out. So by taking it out, now I can take fresh water out of the boat this way or salt water out of the boat this way. And I can take dock fresh water into the boat that way. So we do have a salt water wash down as well. We have a valve that we can switch for that. So you can see we got a cap on here, had a little bit of pressure on it. Two male ends on our hose. Simply tie in our hose right here. And now with a three-way valve that we have back here, we can switch it from fresh to salt and use that for wash down out here for whatever it may be. Dive gear, swimming gear, the anchor itself. There's the fresh water on. And you can see it comes on. Yay. And then for salt water, if I were to go to turn the salt water... It doesn't disconnect. Whoa. Yeah, but if I were to turn the salt water pump on now, it would pump salt water out through here. And the only way to stop that is to put that cap back on when you're finished using it. So the salt water is kept in only by the cap? Now, yeah, well, the salt water doesn't work at all until you turn the salt water pump on. Right. So when you turn the salt water pump on right now, it'll deadhead because this valve is turned or, or actually it will work, but it'll deadhead on the cap, the new cap that we put on there. So the key point is you got always got to put that cap back on. Right. But you know, you don't use that salt water very often. Right. And when you do, just make sure the cap is on. So that way it's fresh water. We get fresh water. So we can use fresh water without having the actual fresh water or the, the wash down pump on. The, absolutely. It's regular, same fresh water as in your boat. Right. But you know, when you're not using it, we always keep this valve off. It just prevents any further leaks to happen. Of course, right. the hose will come off anyway, and then the cap goes back on. Right. And that's, that's your lessons on how to operate it. I think there might be a leak there. What? I think there might be a leak there. Yeah, I'm a little concerned with that too. There was never a leak there until we decided to put a new pump in. Uh huh. I mean, a new valve in, now we got a leak. But if it is, that was where we kept hearing it the other day. Yeah. And if it is, I can't tell where it is. So let's let that stuff set up for a little while and see if it'll take care of it. Yeah. Put some pipe sealer on there. Thanks for doing that. Yes, yes ma'am. That's my job. Fixed up this broke. <laughs>